Dear students, uh, let's focus on the bottom part of the slide and especially the bottom right part. Uh, you will observe uh, there is a, a combination of uh, links and joints. Link number one and link number two are similar to each other, whereas, whereas link number three, four, five and six are similar to each other. Uh, link number one and two are called uh, ternary uh, links because they have three nodes. One, two, three. Again, I will repeat. One, two, three. And uh, for link number two, one, two, three. So there are three nodes in link number one and three nodes in link number two. So these links are called ternary links. Whereas link number three, which are the bar links, this bar link has two nodes, one and two. Link number four has two nodes, one and two. Similarly, link number five, which is a bar uh, link, it has two nodes, one and two. And six has same two nodes, one and two. So link number three, four, five, six, which has two nodes each are called binary link the link at the left hand side sorry the combination of link and joint on the left hand side uh, it has the same number of links and joints as compared to the uh, combination of links and joint at the right hand sides let's compare both of them link one link two link one link two Link 3, link 4, link 5, link 6, link 3, link 4, link 5, and link 6. So there are two ternary links and four binary links. 1, 2, 3, 4. Similarly, two ternary links, 1 and 2, and 4 are the binary links. 1, 2, 3, 4. So both these combinations they have similar number of links and similar number of joints. So, although the number of links and number of joints are similar in both the cases, but the combination of links and joints is different. So numbers are same, but the order in which these links and joints are combined together, they are totally different. That's why you can see two different type of combination of links and joints. One at the left hand side is totally different as compared to the right hand side. But in principle, the number of links and joints in both the cases are same. So there is a concept which is called number synthesis, which is uh, related to the determination of number of number and order of links and joints necessary to produce motion of particular degree of freedom. So although the number of links and joints of both the these this combination they are same but the order is totally different so number of synthesis it refers to determination of number and order because both the things are very important number and order as you can see the number of links and joints in both the, in both these systems are same but the order are totally different so number of synthesis it represents the number of order and, and uh, num number and order of links and joints which are necessary to produce a particular degree of freedom uh, as i already mentioned that uh, a link may be a binary link just like three four five six or it may be ternary links or it may be quaternary link i haven't mentioned a quaternary link here but um, I remember in the previous lecture we have uh, one or two links which have which which have the quaternary link. Um, 
but the, number, the, the, the terminology they are very much simple binary refers to bi mean 2 term mean 3 quarter mean 4 so if there are two joints in a link just like 3 4 5 6 so 3 link 4 link 5th link and 6th link all of them has two joints so these refer to as binary link whereas link number 1 and 2 they have three joints uh, 1 2 3 1 2 3 so it's they are called ternary links sometimes these joints are also referred to as nodes so nodes and joints they are the same thing so please don't confuse with both of them if all joints are full joints then an odd number of degree of freedom requires an even number of links and uh, vice versa means that uh, the even number of links they produce odd number of degree of freedoms um, a classical example is here I, 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 I mentioned it um, and in, the, in, the, in the previous slide uh, so there is a a combination of links and joints for example there are like uh, four links one the ground link second third and fourth link which are combined with the joints one two three and four if you put these values in the formula then we will get the degree of freedom mobility is equal to one so the number of links are one two three four they are even number four links are the even number this means the degree of freedom will be odd number 1 3 5 7 these are the odd numbers so the even number of links which are the four links are the even number it will produce the odd number of degree of freedom in this case it's the degree of freedom is 1 so this um, concept is referred to as hypothesis The next and uh, very important uh, concept that we are going to discuss is that um, the validity of Gruber's equation. In the previous lecture, we gone through the Gruber's equation. The equation uh, they are, there were the three uh, equations or formula that uh, we use to find the degree of freedom. The equation number one, equation number two, equation number three. So all are uh, the, the, the equation 1 to 3 are called the Gruber's equation or Gruber formulations. <coughs> so uh, the, the, the problem with the Gruber equation uh, is that, that um, the Gruber equation uh, just focuses on the number of links and joints. And it does not pay any attention to the size or shape of link and joints so sometime the shape and size they create a mess and as a creating and because of this mess the result in the form of degree of freedom will give a different value uh, if we compare with the Gruber's equation um, to validate my statement, let's study uh, some examples. So the first example is uh, top right hand side. So there is a combination of links and joints. There are uh, five links, means that the grounded links one, two, three. They are count. They count the three links. The three ground or fixed links are counted in this in as one. So one ground link. 3 bar links 1 2 3 which are also the binary links and uh, there is a single ternary link so the number of links are ground link 1 2 3 4 and 5 so put the value of link in the Gruber's equation links are 5 let's count the uh, number of joints or nodes 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so 
So number of joints are 6. So put the values, you will get mobility m or degree of freedom is equal to 0. And uh, this number, uh, this number, the degree of freedom mobility, uh, which which was found by the Gruber's equation, is is totally is totally okay. It's correct because this structure will not move at all. Uh, if you uh, just focus on this um, structure, and without knowing the formula, the above mentioned formula, or without counting the number of links and joints, just focus on it and you will observe that this combination of links and joints will never move because of the combination of uh, these links and joints. So this combination of links and joints restrain the motion of this uh, system. So that's why the degree of freedom is equal to zero and we call this combination of links and joints as a structure because it has zero degree of freedom. <coughs> Similarly, uh, there is a, another combination of links and joints. Uh, if you um, count the number of links and joints here and put in the formula of Gruber's equation, then we will get some value. For example, uh, the grounded links, there are three, one, two, and three. So we have to count three links as a single link. So one link, two link, three link, four link, and five link. Put the value here, L is equal to five. And I count the number of joints, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six joints, put the value here. So the final value from this equation will be a zero. This means mobility is equal to zero degree of freedom is equal to zero but if without paying any attention to counting the number of links and joints <coughs> if you visualize this system then you will see that this combination of links and joints and they will mm, rotate they will rotate if they rotate they either rotate um, counterclockwise or clockwise so this combination of uh, links and joint uh, it's not a structure rather this is a mechanism and this mechanism has more than uh, zero degree of freedom means that it has one degree of freedom so it either rotate in clockwise or anti-clockwise direction so Gruber's equation says the result is zero means this combination of links and joints will not move at all so it's a structure but logically if you visualize that if um, uh, there is a motion uh, if, if you just if you just uh, put a little force on any of the links um, then uh, this this combination of links and joint will either move counterclockwise or clockwise so degree of freedom is one, which is uh, not predicted, not predicted by the Gruber's equation. So Gruber's equation disagree with the number of degree freedom, uh, which actually exists. So also there is another example. Uh, for example, there are two uh, spheres or circles. Circle number one, circle number two. They are pivoted to the center. Uh, whereas both circles can rotate around the axis, the pivoted axis at the center, this circle can move in the pivot, this circle can move in the pivot. So if we um, put the values of links and joints in the Gruber's equation, what we will get number of links are one link, the grounded link, the second link, the grounded link, we, uh, the ground link, we have counted two ground links, one and two, so we will count two links as a single link, uh, as a single ground link. So one ground link, one, two link, three link, sorry. Ground link, one, two, and three link. So links are three, L is equal to three. Now count the number of uh, joints, one, two, and there is a joint between these two, uh, two circles. Um, so number of joints are three. Gruber's equation says degree of freedom is equal to zero. 
but if any of if you put a little force on this um, circle or either this circle in any of the direction then this circle will move in the counterclockwise direction and because of this friction the other uh, uh, circle will rotate in the clockwise direction so there is a motion um, clock uh, anti-clockwise and clockwise in this uh, in this mechanism so the degree of freedom will be actually one whereas Gruber's equation says the degree of freedom is equal to zero so these are called paradoxes so the Gruber's equation um, because it focuses on the uh, number of links and joints and it never says or never uh, pinpoint the, the shape and size of number of uh, links and joints therefore the Gruber equation sometimes uh, is not been able to predict the actual degree of freedom of any of the mechanism so here the classical example shows the the first uh, system um, Gruber equation uh, Gruber's equation um, um, can easily obtain the number of degree of freedom but for the second case and for the third case uh, uh, Gruber equation uh, is not suitable anymore to predict the number of degree of freedoms